Hello, what's up, YouTube? Here, Arkan and I bring another battle. This battle is going to be against Norwest, also known as Flawless Hoopra. Ah, uh, his team, let's see. On his team, he has the Masprit, Kabutops, he has the Evolved, Ludicolo with the Maracas dancing, uh, Macarena, uh, has the Pepe Le Pew, Scontine, and Polyrock, the fighting, fighting. Uh, water type Pokemon on my side. I have my wishy washy, my that's a little bit fishy. I have my Mammothar Electivire. I have my uh, Lilligan, which the booties is a big ass that has the Lilligan. I have my Kadabra, and last but not least, I have my Blue Ocean. Uh, most of the time, I play with a, a hyper offensive team. Most of the time, most of the time, not always. But as, as you can see right now, I don't have any Serrocker, I don't have a Robin Spinner, I just went straight to attack. Okay, that's actually how I play most of the time. Most of the time I, I don't try to create a really good team, most of the time I try to create a team which I can have fun, so I can uh, have like close matches, close battles, you know, like 1-0, 2 0, something like that. I don't like most of the time I don't like to add low when I win 4 4 and 0, 5 and 0, 6 and 0. I already have close battle. So let's start with the battle. Uh, he sends Mesprit, I'll send Uchiwashi. I well he goes into big fish and I use U-turn on the switch. I send my Mac Mortar and I use the Thunderbolt, which is a neutral damage, and I guess with another uh, Thunderbolt, I will be able to kill this Pokemon, which I'm not really sure. He goes for the Rain Dance, and well, most of, of his Pokemon are like, you know, with the Swift Swim. So I use Thunderbolt one more time, and I get to kill this Masprey. Now, so that's one Pokemon less for him. He sends Kabutop, predicting that I'm gonna make a switch. He goes for the Sword Dance. But actually, I'm going to stay with my Pokemon, with my Magmortar, using Thunderbolt, which is super effective, and I get to kill Kabutops with just one attack. Now he sends Ludicolo, which I actually, <laughs> I decided to stay with my Pokemon, and I don't have any, like, kind of uh, safe switch against his Pokemon. He goes for the Hydro Pump and gets to kill my, my Pokemon with just one hit, plus he has the Life Orb. I send my Kadabra, he goes for the Hydro Pump, doesn't miss, I have my Thunder Sash, that's why I survived the attack, he has Life Orb, I send a Nun, I actually use Psychic, I don't get to kill this Pokemon, and now he goes for the Energy Ball, which gets to kill my Pokemon. Now I send my Devotion, I'm pretty sure that I, I'm pretty sure that I can survive his attack, he goes for the Hydro Pump, he misses, I go for energy ball, I was, either way, I was about to use energy ball or use psychic, but I actually went for the energy ball in case he switched and goes for the scontact. Now I make a switch, I go for my wishy washy, and well, I make a like, not mega evolve, actually, it's changed the form. He goes for crunch, I'm pretty sure that I can survive through crunch, but actually he uh, lowers my defense because well, prior to that, uh, I received damage of the Sterrock. And plus now I have, I have the leftovers. Since he lowered my defense, he used Crunch one more time and gets to kill my Pokemon. Now I send my Electivire. I have Earthquake, which is super effective against his Pokemon. He actually goes for the Soccer Punch. And it does a really good damage against my Pokemon. I go for the Earthquake, super effective. And I get to kill his contact, his contact with just one attack. Now he will send Bulbic, and this is pretty much the last turn that I have. He has two Pokemon. He actually goes for the end call. And well, I actually decide to stay with my Pokemon. I go for the earthquake, and well, I actually, I actually had the fire punch. But actually, say I actually decide to stay with my Pokemon. He goes for the Rain Dance, with, and well, I don't know what to do anymore. Which I decide to 
uh, I still decide to stay with my Electrify. I just went to my Electrify while well, trying to make all the damage that I can and will let him die by life or damage. Keep using Earthquake once again. And well, uh, my Electrify fans this time and he goes for the U turn. Now I send my Lilligan and well. He goes for rules and well I go for the uh, this attack hidden power thing no sleep powder and which I put to sleep this Pokemon and now I think I use uh, the uh, I'm not sure if I use the uh, quiver dance or I go straight to attack no I actually go to straight attack I use hidden power super effective not enough to kill this Pokemon uh, well. And I was hoping that actually he is, he actually stays asleep, asleep. But actually he wakes up in the next turn. He actually stays asleep only for one turn. And well, he actually went for the anchor. And I go for the uh, hidden power, super effective. And now one of the mistakes I make right here. Oh, kind of, kind of, it's not a mistake any anyway because well, I. I got like uh, I cannot use any any other move because of the anchor. Even though I switch to my Pokemon to my uh, to my Dual Ocean and I go for the Trick Room, it won't be enough to kill this Pokemon. But actually, now that I'm thinking, it would be enough. I think so. So it's kind of my it's kind of like my mistake right now to not make a switch. But still, though, he gets to kill my Pokemon, my Lilligan, with just one attack using the Break Break Break. And now I send my Blue Ocean, and he goes for the Waterfall, plus, his, uh, plus 6, because he used the Belly Drum, and that's gonna be the match against uh, Norwest uh, Flawless Hoorat, which is a great battle. I hope you like the battle. I like. So, here you are, Canon 9. See you next time. Later, and bye.